Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today, let's talk about traveling with wigs. I get so many questions about traveling and if you're a new wig wearer, I am sure that you are just terrified of having to travel with wigs. But there are some great, easy ways to travel with them. I'll ease some of the fears that you have about maybe going through TSA with a wig and all of the things that I do when I travel and things I've learned from others. So if you want to know more about traveling with wigs, whether it's synthetic wigs or human hair wigs, then stick around and we'll talk all about it. Before we get started, I'm going to tell you the wig on my head so that you're not wondering this whole video what I'm wearing. This is a human hair wig budget, major budget friendly human hair wig by Emma Hairpiece. It is a permed piece. It is $249 as of the filming of this video. It's a Remy human hair curly wig that is unbelievably priced and I have a 10% off discount code. I've not reviewed this wig yet. I may review it before I put this video out. So go down to the description. I'll have more information. If my review is live, it will be linked. It's amazing and I cannot wait to tell you guys about this wig. And it's I'm wearing it because it's relevant to this video as well. All right, now we can move on to the video. The first thing I'd like to address before we talk about packing wigs and how to travel with them is uh, one of the biggest fears of new wig wearers is whether or not their wig will set off the alarms when you go through the TSA x-ray machine. I have never had that happen. I've worn wigs through TSA a few times. I haven't traveled a whole lot by plane since I've been wearing wigs and it's never happened to me. But I do a ton of research before I film videos like this so that I can understand what others experiences are with things that I share. I'm one person with a limited amount of experience, but I can pool that with a lot of other people's experience and tell you what I found. And here's what I found. I've never seen anyone say that their wig set off the x-ray machine alarms. I've watched other videos here on YouTube. I've been in tons of Facebook groups. This is a super common question. And whenever I see the question asked, I read through the answers to see what people are saying. And if your wig is going to set off the x-ray alarm through TSA, it would be so incredibly rare that I wouldn't worry about it. Now, wigs do have some metal in them. Sometimes wigs have like metal combs. Sometimes they've got clips. Sometimes a lot of synthetic wigs have little metal stays in the ear tabs. That is such a small amount of metal that it just doesn't really set off the alarms. If for some reason you have a different experience, I would just ask them to give you some privacy. Find out first what's setting off the alarm. They can usually pinpoint it. It might be from the neck down, and then it's not your wig. If it's from the neck up, you could just tell them you suffer from hair loss, you're really embarrassed. Could you have some privacy if they'd like you to take your wig off? They may not make you take your wig off. And if they do, I think that they will probably be compassionate, but this is not something that I've ever experienced and I've never seen anyone experience it. The only thing I will caution you, I did see one woman share once that she proactively told them she was wearing a wig and they wanted to check it. So I wouldn't volunteer that information, just wait and see what happens. Overwhelmingly, every answer I've ever seen has said it's not been a problem. Another question related to this that I get asked is regarding your ID picture and the hair that you're wearing. I honestly, my ID picture, I was wearing a blonde wig and I don't actually wear blonde very often and I've never had an issue, but if you're concerned about it, I would just make sure that you wear a wig that's similar to your ID picture. It doesn't have to be identical, just something similar so that it doesn't look drastically different, but people change their hair, so it wouldn't be unusual for them to see someone whose hair doesn't match their ID picture. But if you're worried about it, just match it up as much as you can and it shouldn't be an issue. All right, now that we've addressed the biggest fear that a lot of new wig wearers have, let's pack for our trip. When I first started wearing wigs, I only wore synthetic. For the first three years, I only wore synthetic. Heat friendly and regular, all synthetic. I do find traveling with synthetic to be much easier than traveling with human hair. That's my preference. That may not be your preference, 
And so I want you to be cautious whenever you hear someone talk about these things. We're often giving our experience and our preference, but there may be other experiences and other preference. One thing I do is a lot of research, like I said earlier, to make sure that I kind of understand the, the topic and then I can share both what I've learned and what I've done. So here's why I think synthetic wigs are the easiest to travel with. Because you can store them in a bag, like a Ziploc bag, and they are going to be fine. And all you're going to have to do is take them out of the bag when you get to your destination, shake it out, and throw it on. Could not be easier. If it's curly, the curls will be intact. It's baked in. If it's straight, it's gonna remain straight. You don't have to worry about bed head or the need to restyle. I personally love traveling with synthetic. I just put them in the Ziploc bag. I get all the air out. I usually travel with like four or five wigs because I never know what I'm gonna wanna wear. And they take up little to no room in these bags. A couple of considerations. Some people don't like to use plastic or don't like to use Ziploc bags. You can always purchase a silk bag to put your wig in. Um, most human hair retailers will include a silk bag with the, your purchase. This is a stacked, um, stacked hair bag because it came with a wig I purchased from Stacked. This silk bags are great for, for storing human hair wigs. You can certainly get some for your synthetic as well if you don't want to put them in a Ziploc bag. Let's talk about the logistics of how to pack them in the bag. So some people like to pack their wigs inside out when it's in the bag. So I have this one inside out right now. That will prevent some of the friction and static because most of the cap is on the bag and not the hair. So that is a valid way to pack your synthetic wigs. And if you have a long wig, let me, I don't have a long synthetic, but I do have a long human hair, so let me demonstrate. So the short one, easy, just turn it inside out. But if you have a long one, you can turn the cap inside out and then you can take the hair and tuck it into the cap and then stick it inside the bag so the hair is protected. Sometimes people will throw the net that comes with your wig over the hair to keep it contained. So here's one that I packed right side out and I put the net over it. So let's just say you wanna pack it inside out, then you can take your nice little compact bundle throw the hair net over it. Um, human hair don't always come with these nets, but synthetic do. And there you go. You've got yourself a nice little package and then you can stick it in your bag and you're good to go. Sometimes people will travel with their wigs and they'll put the, um, the paper that usually comes with a brand new wig, they'll put that inside the cap and then wrap it up. There's so many different ways to do this you will find the way that you're most comfortable with. Mine is just to toss it in the Ziploc bag, inside out, right side out, it just varies, and throw the tag so I know which wig it is. That is my preference. And here's why I think, where did I put the one I wanted to, there we go. Here's why I think traveling with synthetic wigs is easier than human hair. You get to your destination, you shake it out. Let me take this one off and show you. You get to your destination, shake it out, throw it on. Just like that. Take a wide tooth comb or your fingers, comb it out and you're good to go. No restyling needed. The wigs will hold their style even through travel and it just could not be easier. This is Tress Allure Trend. I can't remember the color. Oh, I have it right here. I can tell you what the color is. 24 slash 102 slash R12. I have a review on YouTube. I can link it below in case you haven't seen it. This is currently my favorite synthetic wig. But so easy to travel with synthetic because you don't have to worry about restyling. You can take a bunch of them. They won't take up very much room. And then you'll have choices when you get to your destination. I'll talk a little bit about how to store them in the hotel room in just a little bit. But let's now talk about traveling with human hair. Like I said earlier, I find human hair more challenging to travel with, but not everybody agrees with me and some people don't mind restyling their wigs. But that, that, this is why, the, 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 <laughs> this is why I think traveling with human hair is more challenging. Let's think about how our bio hair behaves when we sleep. We get funny crimps and kinks and flat spots and some frizziness and overall bedhead. Well, human hair wigs are essentially sleeping on themselves. Uh, here it is. When you put them in a bag. So you're going to get to your destination 
and you're gonna take, this is stuck on the comb right now, you're gonna take your wig out of the bag, whatever you stored it in, and it may have funny flat spots. If you curled it prior, the curls may not be the way that you had them when you stuck it in the bag. And so you may find yourself having to restyle the piece. One option would be to wear your human hair wig for the travel. If you're going to bring both human hair and synthetic, wear your human hair and store your synthetic. Another option, and I do have a travel thing to show you in a sec, but another option would be to get a curly human hair wig. If you can wear curly hair and you, um, you know, you like curly hair, then a curly human hair wig is so easy because all you have to do is spray it with water and maybe use a little curl enhancing or frizz, uh, fixing product that's super little and easy to carry with you, scrunch it up and revive those curls. You don't have to have a curling iron or a flat iron or a hot comb or any of the styling tools that you might need to use. You don't have to have those with a curly wig. So curly human hair wigs, to me, they're kind of next to synthetic in ease of travel because reviving the style is super, super easy. But if that's not an option for you, then I think another thing that you can think about doing, first of all, you always wanna make sure that you do pack, I'm throwing everything on the table here and I can't find it half the time. You do wanna make sure you pack it in a silk bag, not a Ziploc bag. This is going to protect that investment much better when it comes to human hair. There is another option though, they sell these travel bags. I'm gonna make sure everything that I can link below will be linked. Um, they sell these travel bags. They come with what looks like a pants hanger inside the bag and there's a little hole. It's like a garment bag for a wig. There's a little hole at the top. You can stick your hanger, clumsy hands here. You can stick your hanger right through the hole. My goodness, you guys, too clumsy right there. And you can clamp your wig into it, zip it up, and now you're good to go. This is an option. I not a huge fan of this option because I find it challenging to find a good spot to clamp it. Some people take their wigs and they fold them in half just like this and then they stick the clamp on here. You know with different types of cap construction that might not be ideal. So it could be an option depending on the type of wig that you have and, and your preference so I wanted to mention it. Something else that's an option. I just purchased this a wig travel bag. Now, this might be considered an extravagant purchase for some of you, but for those of you who travel a ton and you bring wigs with you and you drive on your travels, I think this isn't super practical for traveling on an airplane, especially these days when you're so limited what you can carry on because it's pretty much gonna take you up your carry-on and maybe all you can have with you then is a purse. But let's take a look inside this and I can explain why I think this is a viable option for you to try. All right, so I purchased this on Amazon and it does come in multiple colors. But basically you unzip it and inside you can have a wig head. This did not come with the foam wig head, so you'll have to buy that separately. But this is a great way, let me back up a little bit, to store your wig upright so that you don't have to worry, and this wig needs to be restyled. This is not like this because of this. I just picked the wig I've been wearing most lately. But you just get it styled the way you want it. And what I love is that this comes out. So this is how it comes without the wig head. It comes just the bag and it has this strap that you can use or not use. It also has a carry handle on top. But you get yourself a foam wig head and then you take it, you put your wig on there and then you just slide it. Oops, I slid it back in here. Forgot I did that. Put it on, slide it into your carry on. It's a lot easier if I can look at it straight on, just like that. And I'll turn it so the hair is behind. And then you can just close it back up. Now, if you're gonna travel with some wigs in bags, you could, let me grab a wig in a bag, hang on. You could take your bag and you could stick it in 
with this wig like that and then this could be your wig bag i really wish they had some extra storage or maybe even a pocket on the front so if there's one out there like that that would be awesome but that's one way to travel with a human hair wig and keep the style the other thing that i think is a benefit to this one of the challenges when you get to the hotel, which we'll talk about in just a moment, if you have to restyle a wig and you don't wanna do it on your head, how do you do that? Well, look at the stand, it just, it, there you go. So you've already got your wig head with you, it's on a stand, now you can curl this hair. It's not gonna, it's not super stable, so if you're gonna be tugging on it a lot, you're gonna want to hang on to it, but now you can curl your wig or straighten your wig and it doesn't have to be on your head. So you got a double bonus here. Now I understand that is probably overkill for a lot of you, but I wanted to show it because I think all the information is helpful and will help you make the right decision for you. If you're going to travel with human hair, that could be a huge time saver for you in not having to redo a style completely. Uh, again, I'm not sure that it's practical on a plane, but a road trip, it could be a great option. And the final thing I will say regarding traveling prior to the hotel, I recommend you carry your wigs on with you. Don't check your wigs in your suitcase if you're checking it, because if that suitcase gets lost, your wigs are lost with it. And if there's a chance that your carry-on will need to be checked at the gate, because that can sometimes happen, I would just make sure you have a bag that will not be checked like a duffel bag that you're taking on or a big purse or something that you can stick your wig in that you will be able to have with you at your seat even a carry-on can sometimes need to be checked so keep those wigs with you don't check them let's talk about what to do with your wigs once you get to the hotel so when i would travel with synthetic wigs only my favorite way to store my wigs was upside down on clips like these, or if the hotel has a pants hanger in the closet that has the little clips like this on it, I would store my wigs on that. I just take the wig, and if it still has the tag, I hang it upside down, and I just run the clip through the tag. If the wig doesn't have the tag anymore, then I just stick it on the nape of the wig. And then I hang it over the shower, um, in the closet, on the closet rod, wherever I can hang it. And if you have the pants hangers, I can typically hang two wigs per pants hanger, but I always bring these just in case. And this to me is the most convenient, easiest way to store synthetics. Hanging them upside down will not give it tremendous amount of volume. It just isn't the nature of how synthetic wigs work. What I like about this is it allows the cap to air out and gravity hits the fibers just a little bit different when it's hanging upside down and that can help maintain the style. You can just keep the synthetic wigs in the baggie if you want to because they're so easy to shake and go, but I tend to like to hang them up. Now, if you're concerned at all about housekeeping, uh, absconding with any of your wigs, then you might want to think about another way to store them when you're going to be away from the room or put a do not disturb sign on the door. But I typically have not worried about that, but I haven't really traveled with human hair, expensive, expensive human hair yet. So I have left my wigs just hanging and it's never been an issue, but I want to address something that we should at least pause and think about. So that is one way to store your synthetic wigs. Another way to store your wigs is to bring with you a collapsible plastic wig stand. They sell these in different sizes. They've got super tall ones for super long hair. These are gonna be just a little bit more challenging to pack, unless you have a giant suitcase that it will fit in. But what I love about these is they store completely flat, and then all you have to do to assemble them is to stick it together, and now you've got yourself a wig head to store your wig on. Uh, to me, this is overkill for synthetic because they don't need to be stored upright. They're gonna keep their shape. But if you're gonna travel, let me keep it this way. If you're gonna travel with human hair, just so I can demonstrate, then you're going to want, now if you're gonna travel with that case, you've got a place to store your wig. But if you're not going to travel that way, then you're gonna want yourself something that you can put your human hair wig on 
so that it will keep its shape. And a collapsible plastic stand does just that and works great. So hanging it with the pants hanger, bringing some laundry clips, bringing a collapsible stand, those are all great ways to store your wig when you're at your destination. Finally, let's talk about what wigs to consider bringing with you when you travel. A, a large part of it is gonna depend on what type of travel you're doing and what type of trip you're taking. If it's a beach vacation or you're going to be spending some time or a lot of time outside or at the beach, synthetic wigs really are the way to go. Human hair can be extremely detrimentally impacted by sunshine. It can oxidize the color, it can fade the color, it can make the color brassy. A lot can change with a human hair wig when you're outside with it a lot. Now some manufacturers use something called textile dye or sometimes it's referred to as um, manufacturer dye on human hair wigs. The textile dye can make it really hard to recolor the wig. It can make it impossible to bleach knots and things like that. But what it does and a benefit of it is it prevents the fading and oxida oxidation <laughs> that can happen with human hair. It won't completely, I shouldn't say prevent it because eventually it could happen, but it will delay it significantly. So if you are only going to wear human hair wigs, it might be a good idea to do some research into a wig that might have that textile dye used and have that be the wig that you wear outside when you're gonna be spending a lot of time outside. Otherwise, synthetic wigs are perfect for hiking and at the beach and at the pool. And one of my favorites is a cheap Amazon synthetic um, headband wig. This one I wear constantly. I often just leave it in the messy bun that I've got it in so I can take it, throw it back on and go. I have a review of this piece. It's by Sapphire Wigs. I'll make sure that's linked below as a $20 Amazon wig, but it is such good quality and super easy to wear. It is super long and super thick. So I have a video showing how to shorten and thin it, but it's a throw and go. You throw a headband over it and you are golden and you can wear it all day. You can swim in it. You can go under water in it. I have a video showing that. I mean, it's just amazing. Another option, again, if you just can't do synthetic, is to get yourself a human hair hat wig. This is by The Hustle Wig. And if you wear this in, po in a ponytail, if you put it into braids, you can mitigate some of that oxid oxidation, I'm having trouble with that word, that can happen when you're out in the sun a lot. And again, wavy, curly human hair is so much easier to deal with when you don't have all of your styling tools with you because just a little bit of water, a little bit of product, and you should be able to revive any style that has is looking worse for wear. So let's summarize. Traveling with wigs should not be terrifying. There are so many ways to do it successfully. Sure, I believe synthetic wigs are easier to travel with, but human hair is fine to travel with. The, just the considerations you need to think about are the styling aspect of human hair. But if you have the right tools, if you've got things to store, if you've got things to help you with your travel, then any wig can successfully be traveled with. I would wear on my head the wig that I'm most worried about, whether it's my most expensive wig or the one that I'm just worried that, you know, packing it in a bag isn't going to be good for it. That's the wig I would choose to wear. But if you have, if all of your wigs are equal, then just wear the wig that will be easiest for you. If you sleep on the plane, if you get hot, you know, what's the best wig that you can wear that's going to mitigate all of those issues. And finally, traveling to a place where nobody knows you is a great opportunity to test out some styles that you desperately want to wear, but you're too afraid to do it at home. Colors that maybe you've never worn before, styles that you've never worn before, you're not gonna know these people and you're likely never going to see them again. So it's exciting. It's an exciting opportunity to expand your wig wardrobe and to help train your brain to see you in different hairstyles and not freak out. So that's a benefit to traveling with wigs. 
I hope this helped. I hope it gave you some ideas. This certainly isn't every option that's out there and you may think of something unique and creative that works best for you and your travel and your taste, but I don't want you to be afraid to travel. It's really not as hard as we think it is when we're new. Please let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. Mm -hmm.